Hello, my internet friends. Today, I'll be talking about the outfits from the movie Mean Girls, specifically how you can dress like a mean girl. The first key piece you need to dress like a mean girl is knitwear. When I'm talking about knitwear, I mean finely knit, slim fitting, tight sweaters and cardigans. So tight you have to suck in your tummy so your rolls don't show with those low rise jeans. In this scene, Gretchen Wieners and Karen Smith is wearing tight crew neck sweaters. Both crew neck sweaters are of a pink shade. Gretchen's sweater is between a peach and coral pink and Karen's is somewhere in between a blush and lemonade pink. Moving on, we have Katie here wearing a scoop neck cardigan. Her cardigan appears to be a blush pink color. She's wearing the classic 2000s look, lace cami and cardigan. Now for those of you who think the mean girls wear only pink, think again. You might be wondering what is this color? Is it lavender or is it blue? It's actually periwinkle. Next, we have the good old argyle prints. I've always had a love-hate relationship with these prints. I haven't gone anywhere near argyle patterns since the early 2000s. A good rule of thumb when identifying patterns is argyles are diamonds and check patterns are squares. In this scene, we have Katie meeting the plastics for the first time. We see Regina George with her version of the power suit on, the classic v-neck sweater layered with the collar shirt. It's a timeless look that we see again and again in movies. Oh yeah, and the tan argyle sweater Gretchen is wearing, it's Burberry. I didn't know until I searched on Google. We can see the mean girls pairing their tight-fitted sweaters and cardigans with skirts most of the time. Keep watching to find out what kinds of skirts they pair the knitwears with. To summarize, when picking out knitwear for mean girls inspired outfits, stick to shades of pink. V-neck, crew neck, and scoop neckline knitwear are all excellent choices. So for those of you with shorter necks like me, I recommend scoop neck or v-neck sweaters because it helps create an illusion of a longer neckline. Now let's talk about mini skirts. This is a staple piece of clothing for the Mean Girls. We see different types of mini skirts throughout the movie. We see wrap skirts, trumpet skirts, h-line skirts, pleated skirts, and a-line skirts. Another thing to note when picking out your skirt is the patterns. The plastics, mainly Gretchen and Karen, tend to wear fun pattern skirts like orange zebra prints, pink cheetah prints, miniature hearts, and polka dots. This plaid skirt Katie is wearing is a Louis Verdad, and it was selling for $40 on Poshmark. My teenager self would have so bought that. Speaking of plaid, for those of you who want to know the difference between plaids, tartans, and checks, plaids have stripes that are not symmetrical, tartans have symmetrical stripes, and check patterns have stripes that form perfect square boxes. Think checkerboard. The skirt Gretchen is wearing is a Burberry skirt. I looked on the Burberry website and they had a similar skirt, but they called it a kilt, so I was like, what is a kilt? According to Google, kilts are pleated in the back and are always wraparounds. I don't know about you, but I carry more weight on the lower parts of my body. My friends used to tease me and call me thunder thighs. The point is, if you tend to carry more weight on the lower parts of your body, like me, then wearing darker colors like black or navy and staying away from big prints can help your body look more balanced. Remember, when trying to make Mean Girls inspired outfits, try opting for wrap skirts, trumpet skirts, knife pleated skirts, H-line skirts, and skater or A-line skirts. When it comes to patterns, you can go for a polka dot, plaid, animal print, and of course the classic Burberry plaid pleated skirt. I think a Burberry skirt is a good investment piece because Burberry prints never go out of style, plus it seems to be getting more expensive each year. This brings us to number three, fitted tops. We see the Mean Girls wearing a wide selection of fitted tops in the movie. First, let's talk about graphic slogan tops. After some digging, I found the same top Karen Smith is wearing on Poshmark. Apparently, this bling bling shirt is from a company called Jumi Jewels. The next one is sequin tops. The embellished tops were definitely a thing of the 2000s. Looking back, it looks a bit tacky, but it was definitely trendy back in the day. Spaghetti straps are one of those 90s trends that carried on into the 2000s. This pink initial spaghetti strap top was all the rage. The shirt Katie is wearing is called a ribbed Henley top for those of you who forgot. Major Abercrombie, American Eagle, Hollister vibes. Where did you buy yours? Now that we've seen several of the outfits the Mean Girls wear throughout the movie, we can see a running pattern. Yes, their outfit colors most of the time are pink and black. They try to incorporate a bit of pink in each outfit, whether it be on the font of their slogan tees or on the heart patterns of their skirts. Dress like the Mean Girls, try graphic tees with cheesy slogans written across the shirt in gothic font. Graphic slogans were very popular in the 2000s, as were the fitted Henley shirts. 
Other fitted tops you can wear include sequin tops and of course spaghetti tops. I'm curious, do some of you guys still have your clothes from the 2000s or like your teenager days? Mini bags. This pink nylon mini bag Karen is wearing is from Prada. I googled it and its official name is Prada Nylon Vela or Vela Flat Cross Body Bag. This little bag Katie carries is no other than the famous Louis Vuitton Murakami multicolor pochette. The mini bag Regina George carries is also Louis Vuitton and it is a pochette as well. But it's the pink cherry blossom collection from Louis Vuitton's collaboration with Takashi Murakami. I know we're talking about mini bags, but I just wanted to squeeze the jeans in this section as well because there weren't many scenes of the girls wearing jeans. Katie's wearing True Religion jeans. I remember I had this design and I think it was called the True Religion Joey Flair jeans or something. A mini shoulder bag in the color pink or some vibrant color is perfect when trying to achieve the mean girls aesthetics. Let's talk about tracksuits. In this scene, Regina's mom is wearing a juicy couture tracksuit. You can tell because when she leans in to hug Katie, you can see the J zipper pull. Also, the pink tracksuit jacket Katie is wearing is also juicy couture. And I saw the same exact jacket on Poshmark for $30. We see Katie wearing another tracksuit. I don't know what brand the black velvet tracksuit is, but the green mint one is from Juicy. We see another yet another juicy couture tracksuit this time she's wearing the jacket and pants set did juicy couture sponsor this movie by any chance there's so much juicy couture but it was all the rage back in those days so some style tips we can take away from the mean girls when it comes to tracksuits are to pair juicy couture jackets with skirts and to utilize the colors in the skirt for reference when matching outfits when it comes to tracksuits wear some shade of pink velour tracksuit preferably juicy couture but it doesn't have to be we don't see many accessories throughout the movie. We see Regina George wearing her signature hoop earrings and initial necklace. As the movie develops, we see Katie wearing an initial necklace as well and hoop earrings, except it's square hoop earrings because hoop earrings is Regina's thing. I was looking all over the internet to find a similar necklace to Katie's and I couldn't find a choker with a pendant. But at Claire's, I found something in a pack of six necklaces. Claire's is awesome. When it comes to high heels, the mean girls tend to wear black or beige stiletto heels. Stilettos tend to make your legs appear thinner because of the daintiness of the shoes, but they're so uncomfortable. Black high heels go well with any outfit and give off a polished look. Likewise, nude heels do the same, but they also elongate your legs. As for the accessories, add on an initial necklace with some hoops or some stud pearl or diamond cut crystal earrings like Gretchen. To summarize, the six essential clothing you will need to get the Mean Girls look are Cardigan, preferably a shade of pink Plaid pleated skirt Slogan top with gothic font and rhinestone bedazzle Mini bags with a pop of color Velour tracksuit, preferably pink And finally, stiletto heels and a necklace with your initials Thank you for watching! See you later, alligator everyone!